Okay, so hello everyone. Again, Happy New Year 2024. So welcome to our Financial Literacy Caravan Worldwide Presentation. So this is Financial Solutions Today, Module 1 to 3. So if it, if it happens that this is your first time to watch this presentation, I would encourage you to watch the first two module, module one and module two, and it is posted right here also in this page. Okay. Ayan. So module, because today we are going to discuss module three. Okay. So before we start again, so of course we need to begin in prayer and let, let's ask for the guidance of our Lord. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful again for this continuous learning that you're giving us, especially in the area of our finances. Continue to open the hearts and the minds of every person na mga kapanood, mga po ng presentation na ito, Lord. And we declare and we believe, Lord, that 2024 is going to be a breakthrough year for everyone, a debt-free year for everyone. Lord, continue to educate us, continue to teach us, help us, Lord, give us more wisdom, in handling our finances. We commit to you this presentation, Lord. We give you back all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, so we are now on our third module. And again, as we have reminded everyone that 2024 is, we declare it as Financial Literacy Caravan Worldwide and continue to learn our program so that you can be part of this uh, financial literacy caravan worldwide. We are planning and we are our goal is to be able to visit these nine countries practically almost every month. And the good news is you can join this trip all for free. Yes. Okay, so the, the, right now we are going to discuss the module three. Again, so for those who doesn't know me, so this is my profile. And my advocacy is financial literacy for almost, uh, actually, I'm turning 21 years as a financial planner. Okay? Ayan. So financial literacy caravan worldwide is all about no family left behind, financial breakthrough for everyone, getting out of debt. So this is the two most important elements na kailangan po nating masolusyonan. That's why our seminar, this is not just an ordinary seminar. I promise you this is life-changing. This is something that you have you need to take seriously. This is something that you na kailangan yung bigyan ng oras, na pakinggan repeatedly. And I would really encourage everyone, if you know anyone who is suffering from financial struggle, if you know anyone that is uh, really uh, are in debt, okay, so please make sure that you share them this presentation. Okay? So we had already discussed our module one, which is building a solid financial foundation. Module two is building passive income. Right now, we are going to discuss module three, financial goal. And let me remind everyone that you, the only way you can be given a certificate of completion is once you're able to organize a three hours face-to-face -face class in your area. Okay? So just message us for the full mechanics of that, for details. Also, you will have a chance to become a certified financial coach if you happen to complete all the requirements. Again, if you are interested with that, because we really need we really need a lot of financial coaches, at least 200 financial coaches this year okay so again god wants us to become financially successful the question is do we have the same mindset do we see ourselves getting rich do we have the right goal and the right motivation but the sure thing is the bible says in second corinthians 9 11 god will make you rich so that you can be generous in every occasion as we have discussed in module one, generosity is no matter how much money you got, use it to help others build their 
wealth. In terms of your finances, your attitude towards your money determines your altitude, how far you can go in terms of your finances. In Jeremiah 29.11 says, in New International Version, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. So, ibig sabihin po, no, God knows His plans for you. Okay? It's just a matter of executing God's plan for your life. Because this already declaration is bound to happen. So what is the plan of God in our life? Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a good future. Plans to prosper you. I mean, it's financial success is part of God's plan in your life. Sometimes we only need to learn from it and we really need to really uh, get through it and understand how to do it. Amen? Now, there are four points you need to know. Four points you need to know in order to become financially successful. In executing your financial plan, in executing your financial goal, these four points that you really need to know. And this part of your our financial checkup, okay, the financial blueprint. So what is the first? So four points you need to know. The first know, know what you want. What do you want in life? Because what you want is directly connected to how much money you need. If you don't know what you want in life, then how are you going to compute how much money you need? So in financial planning, it's really all about what you want in life. And it has to be clear. Amen? Meaning, anything that is not visual is not achievable. So you have to write it down. You need to make sure, especially that this is the beginning of the year. Make sure you write down what are your goals for 2024. It must be clear. It must be specific. Like, for example, if I ask you, how many wants to have a car? Everybody would raise both of their hands, probably both of their feet, and even wiggle their ears and stick their tongue out, Okay, blink their eyes. So you see, everybody wants to have a car. But if you ask them, really, who are really serious to have a car, and if you ask them how many has a clear details, a clear plan to have a car, then you would see that the numbers are decreasing. Because the more detailed you are to your goal, the closer you are to your goal. Amen? For example, how many, how many of you want to have a car? <clears throat> but the next question is, what model? What year, what model uh is it uh what brand what color do you have a driver's license have you been into a driving school you see it's one thing to desire to have a car but it's another thing to be real serious to do whatever it takes to have a car you need to be detailed you have to be more detailed into having what you want in life. Are you learning? Are you following? So, knowing what you want means do you have, do you have, do you plan to do something special with your life? You know the reason why you want to prosper. Do you really know the exact motivation? The real reason. The real reason why you want to go into business. The why is very important. You know, life is 90% why and 10% how. Sometimes you don't need to worry about how to do things. The most important thing is the reason is clear. The reason is deep. That you are ready to do whatever it takes to get what you want in life. What difference can it make to the people that you care Will make a deeper it will it, will it make a difference to your kids to your spouse to your parents do you have a clear goal as a specific time do you know how much money do you need to make to get that goal and how soon you want to become financially independent you see madat sabi nga iba libre lang daw mangarap sa mangarap ka na yes libre ang mangarap but make sure make sure that you are detailed with it and it will not Hindi siya mananatiling pangarap lang. Make sure you have a clear plan in reaching that goal, in reaching the dreams of your life. 
Amen? Because imagine if a travel agent asks you where and when you want to travel and your answer is any destination is okay, any time is fine with me. Anyway, it's your life. But we, ha we have to be specific on what you want and when do you want to achieve it. Amen? <clears throat> like for example, this is uh, one example of our check financial checkup. What do you want? Is do you want a comfortable, usually these 10 points, ito yung mga talagang gusto natin mangyari. Comfortable retirement, children's education, healthcare for retirement, pan parents retirement, see the world, travel, pay of debts, dream house, dream car, church, capital for business. You see, but of course, you cannot get all of this all at once. You need to prioritize. You need to put a number. Which is number one? Is it your number one is to pay off debt? Is it your number two is uh, for your children's education? Number three is your dream car, dream house, comfortable retirement, fun parents retirement. So whatever. So you have to you have to number it. <clears throat> then later on, you create a plan to get what you want in life. <clears throat> the Bible says in Deuteronomy 8.18, it is God, remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the ability to produce wealth and so confirm His covenant. So it's, the God is always asking us, what is in your hand? What resources that I can help you to make it grow and multiply to get what you want in life? So again, that's number one, know what you want. Number two, know how to get what you want in life. Just lang po, no? Inuubo pa rin po tayo. Okay? So again, what's number one? Know what you want. Number two, know how to get what you want. Okay? So if what you want in life is clear, God will give you the ability to produce it. Amen? So make sure that why it's all start on how to get what you want and how to it, it all starts on knowing what you want and next is how to get what you want in life. Proverbs 10:22 The blessing of the Lord makes a person rich and he adds no sorrow into it. So again we use a financial success formula every time God bless you with money you deduct it with your tithes because the tithes will make your money multiply supernaturally. Then you save. Ang matitira yun ang pagkakasyahin natin. That's part of how to get what you want in life. Proverbs 13.11 is an accumulation. To get what you want in life, just start saving now and let your money grow little by little. Just work hard because every time you work hard, your money will accumulate to get what you want in life. And manage your expenses properly. Are you learning? <clears throat> Ayan sinasabi natin. Start saving now at any level of income. Savings has nothing to do with the amount. It's the discipline to save money. Saving is all about needs versus want. In building an investable fund. So in, getting, in knowing how to get what you want. Example, you want a dream house and you want your house in five years, and it's worth 2 million pesos. So if you make a computation, if you save your money at 12%, you need to save 25,000 pesos per month. <clears throat> Question, kaya mo ba mag-ipon ng 25,000 per month so that you can have a house, you can fully pay the house in five years? So what if ang kaya mo lang is 10,000 a month? So magkano ang balance mo to get your dream house? You need to work on a 15,000 per month. So where will you get a 15,000 a month? Look for an opportunity. So you see, the good news right now is you don't need to wait for five years to get your dream house. Sometimes there's a lot of uh, available installment plan to get your dream house at 25,000 per month, 2 million pesos. Okay, so of course, if you want higher 
value of the house, then you need to work hard to make that money. The most important thing is, if you know exactly, if you know what you want in life, then you understand how to get what you want. At least you will have some sense of direction in your finances. Are you following? That's why this, this topic really requires a lot of attention. Okay? So this well calculator will help you get uh, how to get what you want in life. For example, you for example you your dream house, you your dream house is around 4 million and you want it in 5 years. So you need to save 50,000 per month. So you want your dream house in 20 years. Okay? In 20 years is 4 million. 4.5 million, you only need to save 5,000 a month. So you see, uh, the longer the years, probably the, the lower the monthly. Kaya nga kung mas bata ka nagsisimula mag-ipon, mas maliit yung requires mo, requirement mo na savings. But of course, as you grow older, umiikli yung oras to get what you want in life. But at least, no matter how hard it is, no matter how difficult it is, you will have a sense of direction in getting what you want in life. Are you following? So again, what's number one? Know what you want. Number two, know how to get what you want. Number three, know yourself. Do you have what it takes to win? Know if you can get what you want in life. Can you achieve what you want with what you have now, with, with the resources that you have? Can you get what you want by just working for someone else? Kung empleyado ka lang ba, kaya ba makuha yan? Or you need to do something else? Because sabi nga nila, ay, uh, if you keep, if, kung halimbawa, what, what you did the last five years, kung ano yung ginawa mo last five years at hindi ka naman yumaman, do you think doing the same thing in the next five years will change your situation? So in order to get, sometimes you need to change what you are doing, okay? Kailangan magbago yung ginagawa mo to get what you want in life. Are you following? Okay? So to get what you want in life, you have to change the course of your direction. Amen? So, do you have what it takes to win? In Romans 5, 3 to 5, we can rejoice too when we run into problems and trial. For we know that they help us develop endurance. Endurance develops strength of character. Character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. And this hope will not lead us to disappointment. For we know how dearly God loves us because He has given us the Holy Spirit. So, meaning... It will not be given to you on a silver platter. Okay? So it will not be, it's not going to be a better process. There will be a lot of challenges. There will be a lot of difficulties in getting what you want in life. But make sure you know who you are. If you know that you are that you have what it takes to win, just keep on enduring whatever challenges, whatever problems that come your way. Amen. <clears throat> When we have the right attitude, the whatever it takes attitude, failure is neither fatal nor final. Failure is never final. What final is? Quitting. That's why we have two very important rules in life. Rule number one, never, never quit. Again, what's rule number one? Never, never quit. Rule number two, always remember rule number one. Amen? So know your weakness. Kung alam mo na yung weakness mo ay mga procrastination, peer of rejection, shyness, you need to conquer them. Because when you really want, when you are determined to get what you want in life, ma-overcome mo lahat ang mga kahinaan mo. Know your strength. If you have this positive attitude, your mental toughness, your perseverance, just improve them. And let this be an inspiration to other people. <clears throat> know the price you have to pay. There will be sacrifices in order for you to win. 
Determine exactly what you intend to give in return for the income you desire. There's no such thing as something for free. Know what it will take for you to win. Proverbs 24.16 For though a righteous man falls seven times, he rises again. But the wicked are brought down by calamity. Okay? So all the top, this is the reality. All the top 20 billionaires in the world are business owners. 13 out of 20 are self-made. The seven remaining inherited it. So it's very clear. You get a job, you make a living. You get a business, you make a fortune. So that's why you need to make a decision. We are not asking you to resign from your day job. You need to keep your day job, but make sure you do something else. And while you develop businesses, then later on, probably you can uh, pull, go full-time in your businesses. So what's number one? Know what you want. What's number two? Know how to get what you want. Number three? Know your... Any number three natin? Know yourself. And number four? Know that you're going to win. Because if you don't, you might as well quit now. Proverbs 29, 18. When there is no vision, the people perish. So meaning, if you, are, if you really, if God placed something in your heart, you need to keep on believing on it. No matter what it takes, no matter what challenges, okay? Ang dumating sa buhay, no matter what difficulties, what problems hits you. If God gave you that vision, you just need to keep on fighting for it. The Bible says here, it says here, don't believe your doubt, don't doubt your belief. Because if you believe your doubt and you doubt your belief, it kills your dreams. Let me repeat that. Don't believe your doubt, don't doubt your belief. Because if you believe your doubt and doubt your belief, it kills your dream. Doubt is the enemy a sign to throw off God's perfect timing. It's, it's really the one who kills your dream. Because sometimes people are too excited about what they want in life. But when problem hits them, they begin to doubt. They begin to doubt the, the, the strength, the character of God. In Hebrews 6.12, it says, We do not want you to become lazy, but to imitate those who through faith and patience inherit what has been promised. So there's a lot of people in the in the Bible, like Abraham, it took him years bago siya nagkaanak. How many years? It took Jacob, it took Joseph a number of years before he got what he wants in life. Sometimes it takes a lot of years before you get what you want in life. But you have to keep on believing. And you need to be patient. The most important thing is you know what you want. You know how to get what you want. And you, that you know that you are going to win. Amen? And you know yourself. Are you learning? So, God's timing is always the right time, no matter when it is. In James 1, 5 to 7, If any one of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to him. But when you ask, this is a very careful instruction. He must believe and not doubt. Because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That man should not think he will receive anything from the Lord. Medyo masakit to, no? Those people who doubts, will never receive anything from God. Just keep on believing. Doubt is the vehicle that leads us down to the road of poverty. Nothing can hold you back. In Habakkuk 2.3, this vision is for a future time. It describes the end. And it will be, this is the most important thing, it will be fulfilled. It may be seem slow. It may seem slow in coming. But wait patiently, for it will surely take place. It will never be delayed. God's timing is always the perfect timing. Just keep on believing. Psalm 92.12, The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Sometimes when problem hits us, we are like a palm tree. Have you seen a palm tree? 
when palm tree is being hit by a storm, it almost kiss the ground. Kala mo, patay na yung palm tree. But, pag umokay na yung weather, no, tumigil na yung bagyo, you will be surprised. The palm tree goes back to its original condition. The same thing with us. Sometimes we are going to be hit by a lot of problems and troubles. But God describes us like a palm tree. He strengthens us. He cares for us. He will never leave us nor forsake us. And we will just continue to be determined in getting what we want in life. Did you learn from that? Again, what are the four no's in financial planning? Know what you want. Know how to get what you want. Know yourself and know that you are going to win. Your attitude determines your altitude. Wealthy people make no small plans. Wealthy people do what they fear. Wealthy people prepare themselves. Wealthy people have heart. And wealthy people risk failure. So we have this what we call financial checkup in, in helping you building a strong financial foundation. Now we will have a separate <clears throat> session for this. So that we will teach everyone how to conduct and how to do to themselves by themselves a financial checkup. We start with this financial personal financial planning survey, financial literacy and livelihood survey. Then we have this financial needs analysis. We need to compute how much money do you need. Then we have this statement on monthly expenses, survey on monthly expenses, your monthly budgeting. Statement of passive income, escaping the grip of debt. Okay, your statement of asset and liabilities. Ayan. So, this really who we are, the financial checkup. And we believe that every person needs to undergo financial checkup to get, to get what they want in life. To get what they want in life and to, to get to, to learn how to, to learn how to get what they want in life life. Okay? Kaya lahat gusto natin mag-undergo po ng financial check-up because this is something that we believe that people are lacking. Ang mga Pilipino ngayon, hindi talaga nagpapa-check-up in terms of their finances. So if you believe that what we are doing is great, so from what you have learned from module 1, 2, and 3, if you see that this is really life-changing and it will help you, you need to make sure that you are going to become part you need to become a member of LSA and our cooperative because basically all our program are exclusively offered only to all our members. So how are you going to become a member of LSA and our cooperative? Very simple. Kailangan nyo lang po maging JOS. What is JOS? You join our program, you learn our program. That's the theory. Then you apply it. That's why you own it. When you join, when you own, then you share. That's JOS. And every time you share, you produce JOS. Very simple. So how much is our JOS? The total package is 1260 but we have a promo. You will only pay 55 Wow. Is it worth it? Is it worth it if it is life-changing that you only pay for 55 But even in return, you are going to get more of what you have paid for? Doon pa lang sa products, you will get already 8,400 pesos worth of products. Kasama na membership ng cooperative na 500. Meron ka na startup savings, we call it the share capital at 2.5. Meron ka ng one-month memorial savings of 560 and all other marketing materials. Then, the moment you become, J the moment you become JOS, one thing that will naturally flow from you is you will share it. You will share what we do. Especially this seminar, we do it in Facebook Live, we do it in Facebook page. Just share it to the people that you know. And you would never know really the condition of your the people around you. Some people, you think they don't have problem. okay? But sometimes they just don't share it to everybody. But the moment they hear our presentation, sometimes it's going to hit them. Okay, so if three people believe you, that's three JOS, you will become a 337 qualifier, your spread will become 30%. If six people believes on you, you produce six JOS, 
you'll become 40%, we'll call you Platinum JOS. Then this is the big deal. If 12 people believe you, we build 12 JOS, you will be called Certified Crusader. You are a 50% spread. Now, this is a crusade. This is not just an ordinary business. This is life-changing. That's why the 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 things the, the one that everybody focus every JOS their focus is to become a certified crusader why because this where the mission flow where the when you do the mission well then that's where the commission flows we make money from our crusades we make money from our mission every time you produce a certified crusader you are paid 95960 is that good news Wow. You see, that's why this is a very powerful job. Because you are going to handle people's life in their about their finances. But you are going to be paid well. And you mga certified crusader, they will also be, they will also have the chance. Sila kasi yung may chance na makasama in our international trip for free. Just follow our simple system. Share our mission to everybody and produce JOS. So JOS is the name of the game in what we do. Then, every time you produce JOS, you will be greatly rewarded. Balikan natin yan. So every three JOS, meron ka marireceive na free 9,250 pesos na free products. Pag meron ka namang 9 JOS na, 16,750. Kaya pagka 3 plus 9, naka 12 JOS ka, meron kang 26,000 na free product, tapos mapopromote ka as Certified Crusader. Kaya mag, talagang grabe, matatambakan ka ng maraming products na free. What will you do with the free products? You can consume it personally, you can sell it para maging pera, you can give it as a gift, no matter how you want to use it, it's up to you. Then every certified crusader, we really are, your goal is to have a wellness hub. So our wellness hub will be unique because it will not just cater health health checkup, but it will also do financial checkup. So our packages have three fifty thousand and five hundred fifty thousand. But the good news is, just produce twenty four JOS and you get a pre wellness center. Make a salmon pharmacy, libre na rin yung machine. Hindi pa tapos yan. Lahat ng mga mag-qualify dito, the first 10, kasama na rin yung all expenses paid to Hong Kong. Wow. Because right now, we really need to produce a lot of CC. What is CC? Certified Crusader. So our Hong Kong is January 26 to 29. So that is our first financial literacy caravan worldwide. You can even get a free iPad or free iPhone. So make sure just message us to get the whole mechanics. Kasi limited lang po yan. Ano? Hindi natin siya masyado ina-announce. Then, we will meet our OFW on January 28. The first 30 to register, they will receive uh, a raffle ticket for a chance to win, to win a Gluo Pharmacy. So every time you do savings... May mga kasama siya mga free products. Wow! So, very powerful yung savings natin and ang mga savings program. Wala siyang katalo-talo. You can even get all our products in a manufacturing price. Okay? So, just make sure it's posted in the Facebook. Please check all our posts and understand our mechanics and start availing because these are all limited offer only. Okay, so you see our system is all about JOS, you duplicate and produce certified crusader. Even our business pipeline is all about JOS, producing JOS because JOS to us is our crusade, sharing our mission to everybody. Okay, so if you have further question, just message us in our Facebook page. You can always watch the replay here in Facebook page, even in our YouTube channel, Financial Solutions Today. Okay? And don't forget to share it to every person that you know. Okay, so thank you so much to everyone. And keep on, uh, abangan niyo po yung mga susunod pa natin mga financial literacy seminar topic.
God bless everyone.